Each corner of France has its own unique character. The rugged and outdoorsy French Alps, sun-drenched and slow-paced province, the glamorous and gorgeous Côte d'Azur coastline, the idyllic Alsace, a pastoral region where storybook hamlets are tucked away in the vine-covered rolling hills. From cultured cities to pristine natural sites, France offers endless tourist attractions. Discover this fascinating and diverse country with our list of the best places to visit in France. Number 1. Paris and Versailles Appreciated for its elegance and joy de vivre, Paris is a grand European capital filled with architectural masterpieces like the Eiffel Tower and the Notre Dame Cathedral. Reflecting the city's rich heritage, the Louvre, one of the top museums in Paris, contains an exceptional fine arts collection. While the Musée d'Orsay and the Musée de l'Orangerie display treasures of French Impressionist art. Other charms of Paris are its atmospheric medieval quarters and graceful boulevards. Quintessential tourist experiences include shopping at bookshops in the Latin Quarter, strolling the Champs-Élysées, and people watching from a sidewalk cafe terrace on the Boulevard Saint-Germain-des-Prés. Number 2. The Charming Countryside of Provence In contrast to the gray skies of Paris in northern France, the charming region of Provence basks in bright Mediterranean sunshine most of the year. This rural area feels untouched by the modern world and has a rugged, earthy appeal. The rolling hills are covered with a patchwork of small farms, olive groves, sunflowers, and lavender fields. Fragrant rosemary, sage and thyme, and other wild herbs grow here in abundance and enliven the local cuisine. In this dreamy landscape, Impressionist painters found inspiration to create vibrant works of art. Number 3. The Côte d'Azur Also known as the French Riviera, the Côte d'Azur is a glamorous stretch of Mediterranean coastline, named for its deep azure blue waters. The skies are often a mesmerizing cerulean hue as well, thanks to the sunny weather most of the year in this area of southern France. Stretching roughly from Saint-Tropez, overlapping with the province region, to Menton, less than 30 kilometers from the border with Italy, the Côte d'Azur has been a fashionable seaside resort destination since the early 19th century. Number 4. Mont saint michel in Normandy Mont saint michel is a highlight of the Normandy region a pastoral landscape of apple orchards, woodlands, and cow pastures. This unmissable tourist attraction ranks number one on the long list of Normandy travel destinations, which includes stellar sites such as historic castles and picture-perfect towns. Built between the 11th and 13th centuries, the Abbey of Mount saint michel is one of the most awe-inspiring sites in France. The UNESCO-listed abbey is perched on the hilltop of an islet in the Bay of Mount St. Michel and is considered a marvel of Gothic architecture. Number 5. The Chateau of the Loire Valley Like the scene of a fairy tale, magnificent castles are scattered throughout the densely forested landscape of the Loire Valley. Stretching for 280 kilometers from Soli sur Loire the Chalonnais sur Loire in Anjou, the Loire Valley is the largest UNESCO listed site in France. The region boasts an incredibly rich cultural heritage. During the 15th and 16th centuries, France's kings built sumptuous country retreats here purely for entertainment and enjoyment. Number 6 Reims and its magnificent Gothic Cathedral. Reims is justifiably placed among France's list of villes d'art de d'histoire, de cities of art and history. Of the town's three UNESCO World Heritage Sites, 
Most renowned is the Cathedrale Notre Dame de Reims, where French kings were crowned. The most celebrated event was when Joan of Arc escorted Charles VII to the cathedral in July of 1429 for his coronation as king. Number 7. Fishing Villages, Historic Ports, and Beaches in Brittany A picturesque coastal region, Brittany has a rich maritime heritage seen in its historic port towns, St. Malo, surrounded by old ramparts, the medieval capital of Nantes, and the fortified 14th century Concarneau. The seaside also boasts stylish beach resorts like fashionable Dinard on the Côte d'Emeraud, the summertime vacation destination of La Balle on the estuary of the Loire River, and Treboul near the lovely riverside town of Quimper. Number 8. Barretz and Saint Jean de Luz. A blend of Parisian style elegance and the untamed natural beauty of the Atlantic coast, Barritz is an upscale seaside resort with fabulous beaches. Barritz was favored by Empress Eugene, who loved this area of the Basque region. She chose a sandy hillside overlooking the Bay of Biscay as the location for her imperial residence, the Villa Eugene. This second empire palace has been converted into luxury accommodations. The five-star Hotel de Palais, which offers exquisitely decorated guest rooms and an oceanfront gastronomic restaurant. Next to the hotel property is the Grand Plage, a sandy beach that has attracted sunbathers since the Belle Epoque. Number 9. Joan of Arc Monuments in Chinon, Rouen, and Orleans France's national heroine, Joan of Arc, led the country to victory during the Hundred Years' War, when she was only 17 years old. Her divinely ordained mission, instructed by heavenly voices, is still an inspiration to the faithful. Joan of Arc's remarkable story began in Chennai, where on March 9, 1429, she went to meet the future Charles VII, the Dauphin, at the Fortress Royale, a medieval fortified castle. On this momentous occasion, the Maid of Orleans informed the Dauphin of his right to the crown, and asked for help in forming an army, which was needed to break the Siege of Orleans, a pivotal event during the Hundred Years' War between France and England. Number 10. The Alsace Region The historic cities of Strasbourg and Colmar, along with the hundreds of Alsatian villages, have a special old-world charm that is completely distinct from the rest of France. The architecture and ambience of Alsace has been influenced over the centuries by neighboring Germany, as seen in the brightly painted, half-timbered buildings and venerable Gothic churches. Quaint and cultured, Strasbourg enchants visitors with its narrow cobblestone streets, scenic canals, and ornate cathedral. Colmar is the quintessential Alsatian town full of interesting old churches and traditional houses with flower-bedecked balconies. That's it for today, folks. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. Until then, goodbye.